Hello. Nice to see you again. My name is Dr. Evan Esquire. I'm here from Science Explorers. Now, I saw my beard in the last video, and it didn't look too good. So what I did was I shaved down to just a mustache uh, so I can look cool like my best friend Harrison. You know, I'm really wondering if, uh, if my mustache is anywhere as good as that one. All right, now that that's taken care of, uh, we can talk about our uh, topic of the week. And the topic of the week is yo-yos. I love yo-yos. I'm not very good at yo-yoing, um, but if I didn't uh, like everything I wasn't good at, I wouldn't like a lot of things. So I have this yo-yo right here, and this is like the ones that you can buy at the store. But today, I wanna tell you all about the science of yo-yos and how you can make one with things from around the house. Now I'm gonna give you a few options uh, because not everyone has everything at their house. And you can be as cool as me playing with this yo-yo. Ah. So a yo-yo is all about energy. Now there are two types of energy that we're gonna be working with and that we work with every day. Kinetic, that's a type of energy that is moving. A car moving has a lot of energy as it drives down the street. Or uh, a fan blowing my hair back uh, will have a lot of energy that it's moving. Now, there's another type of energy and that's called potential energy. Potential energy is all about how much energy something potentially can release. I always think of like a battery. A battery has a lot of potential energy. It's not really doing anything when it's just sitting on the table, but once you plug it into something, uh, then that energy's potential is released. The way I think about it is that kinetic energy is about energy that's happening, and potential energy is energy that has the potential to happen. Much like uh, all my teachers said I had a lot of potential, I just need to focus. The yo-yo has a lot of potential energy when I hold it up here because gravity is trying to pull it down. So it has the potential to fall, but it doesn't have kinetic energy right now. When I release it, that's when it has kinetic energy. Whoop. Also what's happening is as the yo-yo falls, and you can actually see through this yo-yo, the string is rolled up in there. So as I let go of the yo-yo, it spins, and that spinning ravels up the string. Now when it gets to the bottom, since it can't fall anymore, so there's no more kinetic energy pulling it down, but there's energy that's going into it spinning. So what that does is the yo-yo keeps spinning, 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 and then 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 spinning until it's at the end of the string where it will keep spinning and ravel itself back up. And that's what makes a yo-yo come back up after you drop it. All of that energy going from potential to kinetic and then spinning keeps it spinning down and then spinning back up. Much like my emotions during any given Toy Story film. I got a mustache over my eye. So instead of showing you one way to make a yo-yo at home, I want to show you several different options for how you can make a yo-yo at home. Woo! So what you're going to need is a string, of course, and then you're going to have to find things to make what we call, this is the shell, and you're going to need your axle. Now your axle is what the string wraps around and connects the two shells. All right, this one right here, what I did was I got two little plastic cups and cut off the top of it so it's just the bottom of the cups and then I glued them together with a washer in between. Yo-yo, bah, there we go. So you can use cups that you cut the bottom off of uh, I thought tuna cans would probably work really well as shells. And let's see. Oh, here's another uh, really good shell. Old CDs. Now, first off, 
you have to ask whoever you're home with if you can use any CDs for this because they it will probably destroy the CDs. Uh, so make sure you ask whichever adult you're at home with uh, what CDs you are allowed to use. They might have an old scratched up one in the back seat of their car and uh, would be happy to donate it to science. Now, second thing, um, this is a personal rule for me. You cannot use any ABBA CDs, any Cher CDs, or the Rent soundtrack because they don't deserve that. What I like to make my axles out of are spools. If you have a spool laying around, you can also use bolts and washers. And you know, it's a really great time to get creative with this. All right, so you just take that, you put that there like that. Why don't you throw a washer on that guy? All right, how you doing? Woo! The same thing for the other side. There we go. Now, this could be a fun activity to do with whoever you're at home with, whether your parents, grandparents, fun uncle, and have them help you find things around the house that you can make a yo-yo out of. Now, you can also, um, I would absolutely, actually, I'm going to say you're going to have to uh, get an adult if you're going to use hot glue or super glue. I would just go ahead and do this activity with an adult. But... It's pretty fun finding the different things that you can make. This is a good one. There's a good one. There we go. How you doing? Oh, there you are. All right, now that guy's gone. With this one, these are two CDs, but I used a bottle cap in between there. Here you go. How you doing? All right. And this one's pretty good. I like this one a lot. So you're going to have a lot of options. Ah, geez. There we are. There are a lot of really cool ways to play with the yo, yo Just be careful. I should uh, I should wear a helmet during this probably. Eye protection's never a bad idea. All right, so I'd say that just about does it. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the lesson. I hope you get to some yo-yoing. Um, as always, uh, do not forget to be kind. Because I say, we all do our best when we all do what we can for each other. My name's Dr. Evan Esquire. I'm from Science Explorers. Have a nice day. Woo! My glasses!